Hi everyone, Emily here. Today I want to show you how to do a hair. I'm going to give it a go and try and paint it. Whew, painting can take quite a while, but it just looks so good. So I'm going to give it a while. So what we're going to do is we need the paper to be portrait. It's actually quite high up for me, <laughs> but it's, I think maybe I should move it down a bit. Oh, maybe I should. Well, it's fine. Right, let's just get on. Right, so what we're going to do is it's portrait. We're going to find out where the bulk of the face will be. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a V shape because that's where the nose is going to go. So the nose is going to go there. And then we're going to do a line down. Always reminds me of a lion down, like a lion go lying down. <laughs> so then we're going to go up. Can you see what I've done? It's kind of like I've gone up, but then I've gone past the nose and up a bit. And then the other one, it's not going to be exactly the same. I want it to be slightly different. So we're going to go just about there is fine. It doesn't have to be because he's turning his head. And then what I thought would be quite nice is just do that because you could do like a little little line for where its mouth is. Now, because it's the nose, it's going to be just to insinuate. So just to make it look like that would end up being a different colour. And then we're going to go up. So what we need to do is work out a guideline. So I'm going to show you. So, you know, here, just continue going up. So you've got you could do it quite lightly because you can rub out. And then just about here, so you're going to do a cross because the eyes are going to go where the cross is. So what's going to happen is I'm going to go one, two. Can you see where I've put it? It's kind of like coming, if I joined it up, it would be coming from there. So the eyes on a hair is amazing. They just look so cool. So we're going to do this. First of all, we're going to go up, up. It's almost like it reminds me of a skull uh, when you do an animal skull. So it's up and up and then we're going to do an eye. Now it just starts here and you're going to go round the other side, round. That should kind of join up more. And then we're going to do where the eye comes out of. It's like the eye socket. We're just going to do a little bit there and a little bit there. It's quite basic at the moment. <laughs> and then we're gonna go touch underneath and you're gonna go like this. Just do a line because it's just so the face looks a little bit more like a hair. And then un under here, you're gonna go whoop. So it looks kind of strange now, doesn't it? <laughs> and then you're gonna go, this is an eye and this is an eye. And then we're gonna just touch here. Pause the video if I'm going super fast, but you're going to touch there and you're going to go, Ooh. it's really important to get the shape right. So down, and then you kind of make a bit of a roundy bit. And then on that side, you could just do this, travel, 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 travel. Because it's going to be looking at a certain, in a certain distance. And then, you know, where you've got the cross and you've got this, just do a bit of a U shape. And then all you're going to do, I might have to stand up for this one, <laughs> you're going to do the ears. Now, hairs have massive ears. So we're just going to go, ah! I like to not do them, um, I like to not do them pointy because I think it looks quite nice if they're not completely pointy. Can you see that? Yeah, you can, can't you? Might have to move the border down a bit more. And then where you've got the other U, can you see on the top, I like doing... Oh yeah, you can see that, can't you? I like going down and then chow. we're going to do the little lines in the ears. So there's one there, touch there, going up, and then this one can go there, and that bit can go there. If I've done that too fast, just pause the video because it takes a bit of time to get this to how you want. Now, the hair's eyes it's always got a glint of white in it, so it's like a reflection. So I'm gonna do all of it black, but I'm gonna keep some of it white in there. I need him to look like he's, he's a happy bunny. He's a happy hair. <laughs> Don't really want a bunny, to be honest. Right, that's, that's the basics of the hair. 
now we're going to try and paint it now so i'm going to mix up three browns so what you need is like a chocolate brown so i'm going to mix it now which is kind of like a chocolate it's a light chocolatey brown so i've put yellow i've put red and i've put a bit of blue if you can't get a chocolatey brown try and make an orange try and make an orange and put like a tiny bit of blue because it doesn't matter if it's not exactly my colour and then all you're going to do is I'm going to just can you see how I'm not even worried about doing quite a lot as long as I stay in the lines I love the fact that it doesn't stop there it's nice that it just just goes off it doesn't have to stop right at the bottom of the page the nose Kind of there. Most of the hair is white there, so we won't worry about painting that bit. I don't know if you've ever seen a hair, but like in real life, but I had one come up to me and it just stared at me for ages and I couldn't believe it. It was like it was talking to me, it was amazing. So I've got a thing for hairs now, they're just absolutely fantastic. If you don't have paint, of course you can do this with anything colour pencil, whatever you want. So there's, that's how quick it is to paint it. I don't know why I didn't do that before. Because I've always been worried about painting because it takes a bit longer. Now, once you've done that, you're gonna add more blue and more red into the brown that you already had. If you've got the colours already, like if you've got a different brown ready mixed, just use that, it's fine. But I'm gonna take the darker brown and I'm going to do shadow. So I'm just going to do underneath, right there. And then what I'm going to do is you need to get a brush that you don't like much, because you might you might end up ruining it. But you want a brush that's not you're not that bothered about. I'm going to dry that brush. It has to be clean. So I'm going to dry it, and I'm going to blend the edges. So it's called blending. It's, it's like you're only mixing the edges in. That's all you're doing. You're not mixing this bit, you're only mixing the edges. So just give that a go, because that will look like shadow underneath the hair. It will look really cool. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to mix a little bit of... I'm going to still do the dark brown, but I think what I might do is... I might do the dark brown about here just here hang on and the nose i like the nose being dark brown under the eye kind of like the idea of that so i'm just blotting it i'm kind of just adding it here and there i'm just looking at my picture as i'm doing it i'm going to get a bit of dark brown to go up so the light brown was a base coat it's a bit like when your parents um, colour, I don't know, when the, when your parents paint a wall they normally put an undercoat so it's a bit like this is your undercoat and now you're going to add the detail. Right, all these blobs get the dry brush that's clean and you're just going to smudge so you blend in the edges so it blends into almost nothingness. If you can't blend, you can literally keep it like this if you like. You don't have to blend, but it just looks nice blended. It's not particularly that pink inside the ear, but I quite like the idea of doing a pink ear, like inside. So I'm going to get red and white, put it in here, in here. <laughs> and then I'm going to put it only halfway. I mean, it looks like a nice yummy... Thing that you could eat doesn't it that pink and then dry watery brush blend it all the way up to the white so a bit of water mixing it all the way up to the white so now you've got pink and white and then what would be really cool I don't know if you want to try this I think we should you know I'm gonna get water on my brush and I'm just gonna put it on the tips so just the tips of the ear I'm gonna get black paint just a little bit and I'm going to just drop it on there. I don't know if you can see, but it just kind of runs down as you do it. I'll try and do it with the other one so you can see, because the more water you put, the more it drips. It's quite adult-like, so it's quite advanced. 
but give it a go. So a bit of black there. Can you see? It's kind of drooping down. It looks really nice. If you put the water first, it drips with it. Because I love it. Like, it depends if it stands up your picture. If it's flat on the table, then you're going to have to blend it and it won't drip. Then we're going to make a really nice ready brown. So the brown you've already got, just put some red in there. It's kind of like this, this colour. Can you see that colour? And what I'm going to do is, they've got really red eyes. Almost like mahogany. So it's kind of red like that. Then we're going to get black. So it's all black now. It's going to look amazing because we're going to go around there. We're going to go around there in black watery. So it's black and it's watery. So I'm going to rinse out, dry my brush, and I'm going to do this. If you can't do that, it doesn't matter. You could just outline it and leave it at that. But it takes time to practice to blend. A lot of adults find it really difficult. So it's nice just to practice, you know, nothing wrong with just giving it a go. I'm going to do some black under here. I might just colour the eye black. Woo! Might just do a little bit of black under there, just for some extra shadow. But you can do this, if you're finding it hard with the paint, you can do it with the chalk. Because chalk's easier to blend, 100%, like it's a lot easier. Then, what are we going to have? We're nearly done, it's quite fun actually to see it all come together like that. Uh, let's see. I think I might do a little bit of black there. Mm. A little bit of black there. And I'm going to smudge. So it's still quite a lot of black there, but I like to blend it in a bit. Now I want to do a bit of black here. So just pause the video. This is, like I say, this is quite an advanced way of doing it. So if you're a bit worried about making it look a certain way, just give it a go. Okay, I quite like that. I think when you see something and you think, mm, I don't know if I like it, it's nice to just have a go. You know, it's nothing to lose about trying it. I'm going to get some white with no water. And what always looks amazing is to put some white in the eyes. And I mean, it's quite nice to put some white here and there. Like, you know, um, the hair on the hair. <laughs> you could do that to make it look like the hairs in the ear. So I'll do that again in case you missed it. So you just touch there and you just push your brush out and it looks like it's hair in the ear. Might not be able to see that very much. It depends how dark it is in here. But it looks quite cool, I think, when you add that in. I'm gonna blend the white in. Whatever you do do, even if you don't follow all those instructions, it will look really cool. It will definitely look like a hair. Um, so I'm just trying to think what would be quite nice. We could do a nice roof of a house white and then blend that in. If your brush is small, you end up not having much um, paint on there, but then you can just blend it without washing it out. So that's roughly my hair. Now, the last thing, you want to get some you could let it dry and just go over it with a pen if you want at the end or a watercolor pencil or a chalk but what i'm going to do is just i'm just going to add the whiskers on they normally go in a line don't they when it's dark now this is going to be tricky Whew. they always are so long aren't they the whiskers whoa <laughs> He looks really cute, I think. He's like my little friend. And yeah, you can do whatever you like then. You can get white chalk and you could just draw into bits. Or you can make him sit him in the grass. You could put white chalk on the nose. You've got to let it dry first, the paint though. But that is literally my hair. Some of the... Um, some of the whiskers, if they're dark and it's going over dark, you can do white whiskers. 
so you can see them when it goes over the dark but it's still wet so you can't really see mine but they're quite nice if you do white and dark whiskers and that is it so we're going to sign it now and that didn't take long at all and I think it's because I've done so many hairs for so long that it's just easy to draw a hair but it's only quite easy for me because I've practiced I've done so many but I've drawn it from the side so hopefully it looks like a hair <laughs> I'm gonna just add a few other things because there's normally a round bit that goes like that on the ear so you can add that in I just love using chalk with paint when it's dry I think it looks really cool and then you could also do a background you could do a scribble effect of a color background but I really like that I wouldn't mind doing some black bits in the ear just to make it look like hair so if you've got white ears put black um put almost like a um, black forgotten the word black fur and if you've got black ears put white for the fur for the hair all right there we are there's my hair enjoy and uh yeah let me know how you get on continue sending me the pictures because i love seeing them and like and subscribe and i'll see you soon bye